Hello community, Sandra Lemming here and today I want to do a video um, for the community. In this video I'm going to show you how to point a domain name that you have purchased outside of the DBL to the DBL so you can use it to build a website with, right? So um, the outside company that I'll be using is Namecheap. But the process is pretty much the same for Bluehost, Crazy Domains, Namecheap, uh, GoDaddy, HostGator. Um, it's, it's pretty much the same process. It's just things will be in a different place depending on what domain registrar you've purchased your domain from. Okay, so all right, we're here and um, we're on the Mentors dashboard. Now I want to import my domain into the Mentors dashboard. So I need it to be in here, in this area here. Let's go to my domains. I need it to be in here so I can use it to build a website on, right? Correct, that's what I need. So I need it hosted in here. Now this process will take a little bit of time because nothing is instant on the internet. I know for beginners, first time users, and people who claim that they're not techie, not that this has got anything to do with being techie anyway, um, you know, think that things are instant on the internet, but they're not. Things have to propagate. So you're going to have to be patient at certain times, and you're just going to have to wait. That's the way it is, right? That is the way it is. Deal with it, get over it, and don't whinge about it. All right, so let's get on to pointing the domain over from Namecheap. So I've got the domain over here at Namecheap, so I'm going to point one of my domains here. I'll point this domain here because the SSL um, is expired on it. So this one is uh, buildingwebsiteoptions.com, right? Not using it for anything, so I'm going to point that to the DBL over here so I can build a website on it. To do that, I need to go host external domain. Right, now here up pops up a little window. So did you get that? So I came into DBL tool suite. I came into my domains. This page popped up and I clicked on host external domain. Click on there. Now this pop bo box has popped up. Do not remove this box you're going to need this box because you're going to need what is called the name servers because you're going to change the name servers of your domain name over at HostGator or Namecheap or GoDaddy or Crazy Domains or wherever your domain is you're going to need to change the name servers now I'm using a .com domain I'm not using some weird ass domain with some weird ass prefix like you know dot website or dot um, live or anything like that with those type of domains if you have a problem with those type of domains you're going to have to contact DBL support to get help with those right this is just a standard um, domain that I'm going to be transferring that has dot com at the end of it it also works for dot net and dot info okay um, I never buy dot orgs because traditionally dot orgs are supposed to be right it's an unwritten rule, but .orgs people are supposed to be for charity organizations. You know, actual listed charity organizations and info organizations. So, you know, like um, the Autism Foundation is, you know, would be autismfoundation.org, stuff like that. So .org is generally kept aside for that type of thing. We all know that, all experienced people know that. I've known that since I was a beginner on the internet and I didn't know much about the internet at all, but it doesn't take much to research things, people. You know, you do know how to type things into Google. So don't come into here and say, I'm not techie, I, know, I don't know anything. You do know how to type things into Google. Otherwise, you would never have found the SFM and you would never have joined, right? So you do know some things. So lo and behold, voila, you are actually techie. So, you know, lesson number one, self-talk. Do not talk down to yourself. Do not talk negatively to yourself because you're only going to impede your progression forward, 
right? So no more of this, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not techie, because then you forget the things that you can actually do. <clears throat> like go to Google search and type in something in Google search to find out the information you're looking for. Alrighty, let's get moving along. So what I need to do is I've opened up that box, I've got the name servers there. So I need to come over here and I need to manage this domain, right? So I need to click on manage. Alrighty. Excuse me if I'm coughing, I'm very dry, but got a bit of a scratchy throat today, but it's really terrible weather here, so. Alrighty. Um, so I need to manage the domain, so I need to scroll down, and, and what I'm looking for is the name servers, right? I'm looking for the name servers. Now, like I said, this is Namecheap. Um, it might look a little bit different in GoDaddy, HostGator, Bluehost, um, Crazy Domains, but you're still looking for the area, you're still looking to manage your domain, and you're looking for the name servers, okay? So what I need to do with this domain is I need to change the name servers, right? So at the moment, it's pointing to the basic Namecheap DNS name servers. If I was going to build a website on Namecheap in my Namecheap hosting package, I would still need to come in here and point the servers to the hosting. But for now, I need to do a custom DNS because I'm pointing it to a completely different hosting provider. So I need to click on custom. Here it is here. I need to copy my domain name. Copy. And I need to come over to here and I need to paste the domain name in here. And then I need to copy the NS1. Right. Copy. Go over here. And I need to paste it in there. And then I need to go back and I need to paste NS2. I need to copy NS2. Copy copy. So these are the name servers. I want to point my domain from Namecheap over to the DBL so I can build a website. So once I've added my name servers, I can add the other two if I want, but usually just adding, um, so I can have one, two, three, and four here, but usually just adding one and two is enough with Namecheap. Some of the other ones you may need to actually add three and four. So I'm going to click the tick button here. DNS server update may take up to 40 hours to take effect. 48 hours to take effect. May take up to 48 hours, right? See, remember where I told you you have to be patient? So then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to host this domain. Now, if you get a message like this, um, it just means that you need to contact DBL and, you know, upgrade your, your site and whatnot. But um, I just need to contact them and let them know I need to host another domain. That's fine. Um, but basically, that's what you do. You know, you if you haven't hosted a domain here, it'll say, um, da 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 da, um, you know, you need to give up to 24 hours, right? Um, it's that simple. So um, if you have already have a domain hosted, well, then you are going to have to upgrade. Um, my account has been upgraded and stuff. I just have to contact them and let them know, right? But that's how you do it, right? Um, this here will say, it won't say, you know, um, DBL upgrade, but it will say to you that, um, you know, it's in the process, blah, 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 and it'll probably say that you need to wait up to 24 hours, right? Up to. So once that's done, you can just click close there, and basically you'll be waiting, right? Now, that's exactly what I did with this one here. And when this one came over, um, you know, and it was ready to go, it took about six hours all up, this one, between Namecheap and DBL, it took about six hours, and then I just made sure that, you know, the domain was hosting there, okay? So that's all you need to know um, about this process. You just need to make sure that you, um, you know, you, you go in here, you need to point that, that um, to there, so, you know, you need your things, and, you know, 
give it time, you know, give it its, you know, it says up to 48 hours, but, you know, come back and check in maybe six to eight hours or come back and check the next day and you'll probably find that it's come over and it's hosted fine, right? So, you know, I did that one, you know, way back then, right? So, um, you know, um, almost a year ago now uh, and I've had a website built on it since then. And I don't really want to point that other domain over here anyway, so that's probably why I haven't bothered to contact the DBL, but it's cool. Anyway, so that's how you point your domain from Namecheap or GoDaddy or HostGate or anything else over to the DBL. I hope this video helps. Um, just ignore the fact that I got the message where I'd need to upgrade. You know, if you're using the free hosting package, I like to have mine set up, you know, the same way as the members so you guys can see what's going on. So obviously, if you're trying to do more than one domain, you would actually need to contact the DBL and get them to fix that up for you. So we'd, we'd you know, you and I, we'd have to click on upgrade and we'd have to upgrade our package. But with the free hosting, you get to host one domain name um, on the DBL and that's fine. Um, and once you've hosted the domain, that means you can build the website and stuff on it. Alrighty, so if you're trying to import a, another domain, you might need to, if you're not using the domain that you've got hosted, you might need to unhost that or upgrade your package. DBL have some paid upgrades, but when you start out with the company, you get a free hosting package so you can host one domain and build one website on it. Anyway, this is Sandra signing off. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.